Our targeted users are water supply corporations and citizens. We will install our system in the existing water grid. Traditional systems are mostly mechanical and fail to identify the water contamination and leaks due to the lack of continuous monitoring. Additionally, citizens will be notified of any disasters like floods using the notifications sent directly from our systems which are installed at dams and water treatment plants. Before water from reservoirs or canals is utilized, water passes through a resource node which is deployed at the water body to measure the water quality. Then the water is purified at water treatment plants and pumped into municipal water tanks. For continuous controlling of water flow and monitoring the water quality, we will install a smart valve and a reference node at the outlet of municipal water tank respectively. In this reference node, we will place a microcontroller, a flow sensor and a water quality hub consisting of a pH sensor, a water temperature sensor probe, a TOTD sensor and a TDS sensor. And this reference node is used to measure the initial water quality and flow rate. And at every junction in the water grid, we will install a junction node that consists of a smart valve, a flow sensor and a microcontroller. The flow rate at every junction node in the water grid is compared with the reference node and any noticeable drop of flow rate will be intimated to admin. As we can see, at every user end, we will install a user mode. And that user node consists of a microcontroller, a smart valve, a flow sensor and a water quality hub. And that water quality hub collects pH, water temperature, turbidity and TDS values for continuous monitoring of water quality with respect to reference node values. If any noticeable changes in the water quality parameter are identified between the user node and the reference node, this info will be automatically sent to both admin dashboard and the user app. As we can see, there is a water leakage between the junction node and the user node. This will result in drop of flow rate at the user node. So all these changes due to the water contamination and the pipeline leakages will be identified by using ML algorithms and the location will be intimated to admin. is the real-time working prototype of our idea. A tag is used to imitate the leaks. Enable the user to continuously monitor their water supply. 
the user will be alerted if either supplied water is contaminated or water supply is stopped due to the pipeline repairs. User can also get the detailed weekly usage report on water consumption. This app also have multi-language support and user can pay the water bill based on their consumption. The main reason for floods are heavy rainfall and overflow of water from rivers and banks. To reduce the effect of floods, an electronic node will be installed at the water treatment plant. And this node consists of three ultrasonic sensors and a microcontroller. The ultrasonic sensor collects the water level at regular intervals of time and the data is sent to the dashboard. A similar node to collect the water level data is installed in the catchment area. In the real time, we will use the ADCP equipment to measure the discharge of river water. But for the prototype, we are using an ultrasonic sensor. Along with this node, there will be a waterproof sensor to collect temperature and humidity values. All this data is sent to the dam control using the LoRa technology. At the dam control, we have a LoRa receiver which is used to receive the data from catchment areas. The data from the catchment areas are assessed and if there is any possibility of floods, water may be released from the dam to compensate for the incoming water. The dam inlet walls are fitted with three float switches to indicate the level of water. If it crosses level 2 or 3, the people in the affected areas are notified. Further, an ultrasonic sensor with a cone-shaped case is fitted on the dam, which reads the level of water at our takeoff dam, which is used to identify the impact area. The water level stats can be viewed on the dashboard. If there is any possibility of flood occurrence, it will be highlighted on the map with the red or orange color marker to denote the level of floods. The app user will receive the notification based on the impact area, which can help to minimize the effect of floods.